Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now one thing I really love about Age of Empires 2 is how even the most simple concepts on paper, such as farming, actually have a lot of hidden tips and tricks around them that a lot of the player base don't know about. These tips and tricks will help you as a player, both getting you advantage and making you more efficient and denying your opponent resources, thus granting you more advantage. They're very essential to know and polish up your game with. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over the top five farm tricks you might not know in Age of Empires 2. And let's just hop right into it. All right, so at number five, a lot of you guys might already know this, but I figured I'd cover it anyways because it's really essential to know and understand. But basically, you can place a farm and start building it while any of the farm upgrades are being researched in your mill because the upgrade only affects farms that are fully built. So just make sure you finish the upgrade before the farm reaches 100% completion. If you do this, the farm will have the extra food. This is especially crucial in the early game when you don't wanna wait till your upgrade is finished to start farming. We all know we wanna convert our wood into food as fast as possible in early feudal age and so starting to actually make the farm while the horse collar is still cooking in the mill is a really good way to get your farm up at a quicker pace but still have that extra food that horse collar brings in a small tip but it can be really handy that's what she said <laughs> All right, and number four, basically this one's a nice little trick that you can do at all times to make you more efficient as a player. It sounds small, but once you get into the habit of doing it, you're just gonna feel so smooth with it and it's gonna make you that much more efficient in that early game. So basically, you can place a farm on one side of the town center, then immediately garrison a villager that was on the other side of the town center and then click go back to work in the town center. This causes the village to teleport to the farm that you wanted to build with it from one side of the town center all the way to the other. And it saves you a lot of time instead of having to walk around, you can just use the town center to teleport straight to that and you can place your perfect farms around the TC no matter where the villager is coming from. This helps a lot in the early game when you want to farm in a certain area around your town center to make sure your farms are efficient but you don't know where your villagers will be coming from and where the straggler trees are located. A really useful tip despite it being extremely extremely small. All right, at number three, now we're gonna go into some offensive tricks that you can use around farms to help you net advantage and deny your opponent some resources. So basically at number three, we have when your opponent places a farm, it's completely different to any other building. Now, any other building, if they place it, let's say a house or a castle, you don't see the foundation, even though the foundation starts at one HP, you don't see where they're building it and you don't see the foundation and you can't interact with it. However, for a farm, it's completely different. If they place a farm, it's going to be at one HP. They will pay for the wood to place it. However, you actually see where they're placing the farm and this time you can interact with it meaning if you have any unit around that area and your opponent drops a farm and is yet to build it with his villager his villager is walking towards it to build it you can easily snipe it with any unit and you can kill the farm and immediately deny them that 60 wood that they had invested into the farm this is a really useful and really annoying trick that you can use to deny your opponent space around the town center and prevent them from making farms when you're harassing them it's really annoying and the workaround around this is to make sure that the villager is on top of the place that you want to build the farm at before you actually place the farm. So as soon as you place it, the villager will already get a few HP down on that farm. So if your opponent attacks it with one skirmisher, the damage isn't going to be enough to kill that farm. So I gave you the trick and the way to counter this trick. However, if your opponent doesn't know that and they're placing all kinds of farms around their base, feel free to run around, snipe them all, and deny all that wood and tilt your opponent. All right, at number two, we're getting to the stuff that a lot of people don't know about. At number two, this is a bit of a cheesy trick here. If you're a fan of Ruben's Docker Licks, you probably already know about it. But basically, you can steal your opponent's farms with villagers. And the way to do this, even if they're working on the farms, you can still do it. Basically, you take your villager and you go attack their villager on the farm. As the villager's walking away, the enemy villager's walking back because it got aggroed, you immediately right-click their farm. This causes you to work on their farm, thus making it your own building, your own farm. And then you quickly delete the farm and deny your opponent that farm and it's completely gone and well their villager is now completely idle. It's a really cheesy trick but it's a good way to kind of complement a forward tower rush when you're denying your opponent resources and they're having farms out in the middle of nowhere or near their mill away from their town center. You can easily grab one, hit the villager, take the farm and delete it to get that extra little bit of a harassment that's basically free for you. All right, before I show you guys number one, I actually have a really nice honorable mention this time around. This is an extremely new trick and a very powerful one at that. It has a lot to do with mangonels and helps a lot with mangonel pushes in general. So it's a new trick that most pros are abusing and basically it works like this. When a mangonel shoots a farm, the shot will land in the middle of the farm and do damage around that area. However, when you attack the farm, you just need to be within range of its outer side, meaning you can actually get your shot to travel extra distance just by clicking the farm instead of trying to attack around 
ground near the farm or hit a unit near the farm. You just hit the farm, your shot will travel in the middle of that farm. And if there's any units in the middle of the farm, they're gonna get hit and take full damage as if you've clipped them, even if you're actually out of range of that target. It's kind of hard to understand, but in practice, it's super oppressive. And you'll find a lot of pros deleting farms around their town center just to deny the opponents from doing this because it's really hard to play against the player who's shooting you from eight tiles away, even though the Magna only has seven range. This also lets you have a lot of mind games when you have the offensive Magna push because now you have the option of attack round, right clicking their Magna, or you can right click their farm to make your shot land somewhere else. So your shot can be going anywhere and it's almost impossible for them to predict it when you have this option when you're forward Magna pushing. Really, really insane kind of trick to know and understand. And the way to counter it is unfortunately just deleting your farms in that area to prevent your opponent from doing it. So be mindful of this. And if you're pushing, make sure to use it with their Magnals. All right, for my number one on the list, the best farm trick that you might not know about, this is really versatile trick. You can do it when you're harassing your opponents with any unit, really skirm, archer at any point in the game. It's almost impossible to play against and to counterplay this because there's really nothing that the opponent can do if they can't fight your army to stop you from doing this. But basically you can deny your opponent's farms. Even if he's working on the farm and even if you, know, you can't actually kill the villager working on the farm, all you need is to use one archer or one skirmisher or any range unit to hit hit the farm itself and not the villager. If you're hitting a farm, the villager cannot work on that farm and cannot gather from it. So you can deny a ton of your opponent's farms by just spreading out your archers or your skirmishers and just assigning one archer to every farm. It sounds like this doesn't come up or this won't come up in a real game, but how many times do you have a couple range units near your opponent's base and figure it's not enough to kill a villager, so I might as well go back. Well, this is the time where you just spread out your range units, put one unit on every farm, and if you start chasing with his villagers, well, that's perfect. That's idle time and you just run back, no problem, no harm done, it's practically free for you. This is especially useful when your opponent is trying to go for like some sort of a fast castle and you break into his base with some random feudal age units. You obviously can't kill too many villagers and your opponent's gonna be defending quite nicely, but it's extremely hard to defend all your farms from archers and skirmishers hitting them. So this is the best form of harassment and denying food in that early game when they're on low economy is an extremely good tool for you and it will slow them down tremendously. All right, guys, that's been my top five tricks you might not know in Age of Empires 2 when it comes to farms. If you're watching this video, T90, definitely keep working on those farms, man. I didn't include it in this video, but if you want to place farms correctly, you just have to make sure they're close to your TC and not three, four, five, even six tiles away. This way, your farm will be working very efficiently and you're going to gather the resources properly like a true pro player. Keep it up, man, and I'm sure you're going to improve with your farming game. And for the rest of you, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.